Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green coming to you with terrible, terrible, terrible news. As you may recall from our previous game at Oxford United, which we lost 2 0, John Green was unjustly maligned, injured in a tackle from behind that the referee didn't call a red card on or a yellow card or, in fact, any foul at all. He has broken his ankle and he will be out for about three months. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew! I knew that I needed to keep the John Greens on the sideline for a little while because they're very tired, because JJ has been sick, and this is all my fault, and I'm very angry. It's not all my fault. It's mostly Oxford United's fault. Let's not kid ourselves. Um, but it's dark times. There's no getting around it. Look, we have an extremely deep bench when it comes to uh, strikers, right? But what we can't, what we don't have, what we can't replace is we cannot replace... Uh, I think I'm going to start with Lyle Taylor. We cannot replace John Green's grit and love of the game. We cannot replace the fact that he cares more about AFC Wimbledon than anyone but the fans who own the club. It's just, it's a very frustrating situation. I feel frustrated. And with that noted, we are now going to play some team in League One, and we're probably going to lose, and I'm frustrated. I'm just trying, I'm, I'm trying to be honest with you guys. It's been a difficult day for me. Uh, who are we playing? Playing Finland. Well, that's a shock. We're playing F Fleetwood, Fleetwood Town, the white hot center of the universe, as people in Fleetwood Town call it. That's what we're doing today, uh, and I'm going to be talking uh, about a topic that was suggested uh, by Drake Kurtenbach. Uh, I hope I pronounced your name correctly, Drake. Uh, how did I come up with the names for my children, and would I change them if I could? Um, it's a great question. Thank you, uh, Drake. And uh, I have to say that I think your parents did a great job naming you both Drake and Kurtenbach. I don't know how much say they had in the Kurtenbach part of it, but they did a nice job. So as you can see, I'm an excellent passer of the lob ball. Oh, it's raining in England. Well, that's nice at least. King's Meadow looks beautiful today. Uh, happy to be here. A little bit concerned about the lack of John Green, but you know, it's time. Lyle, look at, look at me. It's time, Lyle. It's time for you to become the greatness you never weren't. Okay. Uh, I th there is no good way to name a child. There are no bad ways to name them. I, I don't like people who are very judgmental about other people's kids' names. Let's just be nice to each other. Uh, there's a lot of negativity around, um, around naming, and I just, I just, there's no bad way. I just want to say that at the outset. Uh, name your kid whatever you want to name your kid. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. The weird thing about a kid is that they're going to grow to inhabit the name. You know, so it starts out, and you spend so much time worrying about it. We bought all these books. Literally, we bought, we, we paid actual money for books that listed names of children. As if this was something that we couldn't acquire just from using our brains. Um, and uh, we bought a bunch of different books and we read through them part of it is like a fun thing where you're like you're kind of like it's it, it's part of practicing having a child right you're thinking about what is this going to mean that i'm bringing a child into the world and i'm going to be responsible for them and one of the first things that you're responsible for uh you know is this process of naming them that's a great little bit of play and then just worldly um, what? I was going to say a world-class finish, but it was the opposite. Whatever, what is the opposite of world-class? It's Gill It was a Gillingham class finish. Um, so, oh God, oh God, oh God. There we go. That's good stuff. Then we're just going to turn it right around. There you go. And then you move this way and then you just, just do that. Hmm. Not, not exactly that. Uh, so we, I, I think, I think most of what it is, is just practicing. And then the kid is born and you give them a name and maybe you regret it and maybe you don't, but it doesn't really matter because they just end up inhabiting the name and the name doesn't become interesting except insofar as it refers to the kid. Um, and, and so all of the work that you did was for naught because the name doesn't shape them that much and the kid ends up being the same kid that they were going to be regardless. 
Now, that's not always true. For instance, I know a guy named Lockhart Steele, and he just has, like, a, just a built-in advantage because his name is Lockhart Steele, and that's an awesome name. There's a guy in the Marines whose name is Lan Lance Corporal Max Fightmaster. There was no way that Max Fightmaster wasn't going to be a Marine, you know? So, like, obviously, if you're in a situation where you can name your kid Lance Corporal Max Fightmaster, do it, you know? But if you're not a fight, if you're like most of us and you're not a fight master, oh, that was almost a goal from a corner kick, but we never score from corners. Um, then I don't, I just, uh, you know, it just, it, you think it's going to matter so much and then it ends up not mattering that much. So with, um, with, with our daughter, Alice, who's now three, uh, we tried to get the president of the United States to name her because we thought that would be adorable. We thought that'd be a great story. We were down to two names anyway. Uh, Eleanor and Alice were the two names we were down to. Eleanor, because we liked it. And I think it might have been, like, distantly related to a family name. There might have been some some family member. Oh, no. Everything worked out. Why, why am I passing out of the back like a fool? I've just been practicing hitting the X button. Anyway. Uh, we liked the name Eleanor. And then we also, it was, it was like a slow, oh, off the post. Things are a little bit, a little bit worrisome at the back right now. Um... It was something of a family name, and then uh, we we really liked the name uh, Alice because it was it, Sarah's grandmother's name, and Sarah's grandmother a very important part of her life, and we thought that would be nice to honor her. Plus, it's it's a it's a great name. We, I think it's a great name. I'm a little biased, but I I think it's a wonderful name for a kid. Uh, and, but it's also a name that you can like grow up into, and it's not weird. You know, it's not like you, you're named like Sweetie or something. It's like cute when you're three, and then less when you're sixty. Actually, I think like. Sweetie works at both 3 and 60. It doesn't, I don't know how well it works at, like, 22. Anyway, I'm not, not here to judge the Sweeties. Like I said at the beginning, I don't want to judge anybody else's name. So um, we, I thought this was such a good idea, have the president name the kid. And, like, the president was not even prepared for uh, the question in advance. We were assured, oh, it's got to be. It's got to be. And it is. Oh, it's a fantastic, it's a historic finish for Tom Beer. Oh, he loves to drink, he loves to party, he's a pirate, and he's a goal scorer for AFC Wimbledon. Tom Beer, the most underappreciated player on AFC Wimbledon right now, I think. He's just been loaned out in real life um, to a team in the fifth, fifth division. But I, I think uh, he scored the critical goal uh, to send us to the Premier League in FIFA 16. Even though he's a 57 skill level, he's... Just he's a wonderful performer for us. I'm very, very pleased with him and very proud of him. And I just want to take a moment to drink one in honor of Tom Beer. Really great job. And we're winning the game and everything is hope. So I, I figured like the president, like you put the president on the spot like that, you know, he, he's going to answer. But he didn't. He obama it. He avoided the question. Uh... He did a great job of, like, answering the question without answering the question. And then at the end, he said, uh, whether it's Eleanor or Alice, remember to tell her never to forget to be awesome. And I was, both Sarah and I's jaws actually dropped. And I was, I was as close to being in love with a person who is not my wife as I have ever been. Um, I was as close to throwing it all away. And you know what? I don't think I would have thrown it all away because I think what Sarah would have said was, great decision really good call anyway uh we ended up going with alice because as sarah's grandmother's name is she's an important person in alice's alice's life because very foundational in you know uh the values that we try to have as a family a very similar story with henry um henry was my uh grandfather uh really important person in my life uh not just because of um uh, well, partly because of like who who he was, the values that he and my grandmother, um, who Alice's middle name is named after, uh, had uh, the way they raised my my mother, but also um, just because of I don't know, they just had like an outsized role in my life because they were both extremely strong personalities and um, very generous t uh, to me and to our family, and so. Uh, with Henry's name, it was always pretty much going to be Henry. We, 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 you know, talked about a bunch of different names, you know. Osiasi manager is disgusted that that wasn't called a foul, and I agree with him, as usual, because I am him. Well, no, obviously I wanted you to pass to John Green. God. <laughs> Button pushing. I'm so bad at it. You know, it's astonishing that I'm still this bad at FIFA. Anyway, 
Um, uh, the uh, we entertained a bunch of different names. I was very fond of like a name that was going to be. Uh, I liked the idea of a name that was going to be a big name that that like you know it would it, he'd have to like live up to or like fill like Gatsby Green or something. And Sarah was like, "You can't name a kid Gatsby." And I was like, why not? And she was like, have you read The Great Gatsby? Like, you can't name a kid Gatsby. And I told her that, you know, Gatsby turned out all right in the end. It was what preyed on Gatsby, what foul dust trailed in the wake of his dreams that temporarily aborted, you know, uh, everybody's interests in the, uh, the pursuit of man or whatever. I'm doing not a great job with the quote, just as I didn't do a great job with that finish. Meredith, what's the quote? You know, uh... Gatsby turned out all right in the end. It was what preyed on Gatsby, what foul dust trailed in the wake of his dreams that temporarily aborted my interest in the short-winded elations and long-winded something of man. What? Closed out my interest in the abortive sorrows and the long-winded elations of man. Short-winded elations of man. Of course, that's much better. Uh, you know, I, we should just let Fitzgerald do this work, not me. Um, why, isn't, why isn't F. Scott Fitzgerald hosting a semi-professional FIFA series? It's a real missed opportunity for... Oh, apparently F. Scott Fitzgerald is deceased. So, that, ex that explains it. Also, there are other reasons. <laughs> Come on, John Green! Cut back. Don't be afraid to cut back. Don't be afraid to cut back in the box! And then you've got to finish! Oh, it's magnificent! Lyle Taylor on the board at last! Oh, what? 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 God, Lyle! How could you be offside in that situation? Plus, I accidentally turned the trainer on when I was celebrating the goal that I didn't frickin' score. Smurg! I mean, is Lyle Taylor ever going to score a goal? Ever again? Or has he scored his last goal ever for all of human history? Are we living in the post-Lyle Taylor goal era? Ah. <sighs> Tell you what, Lyle Taylor's parents did a great job of naming him. Um... I also thought about naming, I wanted to, I, I kind of wanted to junior Henry, you know, I'm, I love a good juniorine. And Sarah was like, absolutely not. So that was a non-starter. Great job on the finish there, John. Both John who tapped the B button instead of hitting it hard and John the player who really should have done a better job finishing there or at least like laid it up for Lyle Taylor. Very frustrating. Um, but we are winning one nil. There's no reason to be alarmed. Um, yeah. So I, 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 like, I like family names because I like um, kind of continuing a story. Uh, I think, you know, I like honoring people who are important to us in the names of, uh, of our kids. And so, you know, maybe telling, you know, sending a message to those kids about what, you know, what matters to their parents. But, like I said, there's no right, one right way to do it. Just as there's no one right way to score a goal. Although I have found all of the ways to not score a goal. And I'm very proud of myself for that. I think, you know, it's very rare that someone cannot score this many ways. This is so annoying. And look at that. Look at that. I'm absolutely... The one thing about Tom Beer. Uh, when he gets out of energy, he gets so out of energy. Look at him. He has nothing. He has literally nothing. He cannot run. He is walking with the ball. All right, that's a nice pass, though. Okay, it's Barcham. It's Barcham. It's Barcham. Oh, that's good. That's good. No! Frustration. Ugh. Just not, he's not great on the ball, but he's also not a very good finisher right now. We just need him to come around and become the greatness that we all know he can be. It's, re it's time, Lyle. All right. Apparently it's not time because we're in the 89th minute. So I don't know if you're planning on naming a kid soon, Drake, but don't worry too much about it. Plus, they might end up changing their name. Who knows? Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Mostly talking to past me. Oh, that's good. Oh! Ah! Ah! Lyle! Lyle! Yes! Is that Lyle Taylor? He's going to go! He's back! The Messi from Montserrat! The Cristiano Ronaldo from the Caribbeano. Lyle Taylor with a magnificent goal. Oh, God, it's beautiful. He went near post on the goalkeeper. He humiliated him. Fleetwood Town going back home to Fleetwood and or town humiliated. Oh, everything is beautiful and nothing hurts. Look at Osiasi manager. He's delighted. He's so proud of his team. Proud of his selection of Lyle Taylor, who's here to remind you that yourgolftravel.com is the number one source for your golf travel. 
Great job, Lyle. Then he just, I don't know why he turned his head like that. Maybe he had some water in his ear and he's just trying to get the water out of his ear. But just another example of the incredible verisimilitude of FIFA graphics in FIFA 2017. We've come a long way since FIFA 11, that's for sure. Uh, super proud of the boys. Really, almost the last kick of the game. Lyle Taylor back on the score sheet. We're going to be without Ball John Green for three long months. Uh, there I am being the classy person that I am, shaking the hands of the manager of the oppo opposing team, which I always do when we win. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.